Welcome back. My name is Nightmare and this is now the ninth video and we are going to head towards um, Blight Town. Last time we tried to level up but we couldn't after we defeated the Gaping Dragon with the help of Knight Solaire and Knight Lord Track. We didn't get invaded from a human player at least. We did get invaded by Dark Knight Kirk took him out easily so let's get started right away and just run out here take out Mr. Torchy and I'm going to kill all these blobs real quick again kill out this torch bearer and then kill these again just for the simple fact that they could be dropping some more green titanite shards and if we can get some for free, why not take them? Again, simply keep swinging at them. They're no threat at all. And if you run out of stamina, just make sure you back up. And they're dropping nothing for us. Which is quite sad. Oh, roll away when they do that. I actually think I just tried to backstab them, which doesn't work against these guys. So, after killing these, head down. Head down for the shortcut. Again, I'm keeping my white soapstone up, just in case we get invaded by a human, which is the only invader that can come at this point. Uh, Dark Knight Kirk won't show up again. Until a later point in the game. Careful for this blob. And number six. Sneaky rat. No, don't poison me. Don't poison me. Bad rat. That almost happened. Being poisoned by a rat. That would have been like, embarrassing. Alright, but I think we actually have enough souls to do the level up real quick so we have not many souls at all for when we go into Blight Town because Blight Town well depending on a few factors you might actually die there not really from monsters but there's a good chance you might die because you fall down somewhere let's just do the level up real quick not a point in strength now we only have like 2000 souls which is nothing on new game plus just gonna kill him again and head down I'm not gonna kill the blobs again because you're not here to see me farm and this is not a very it, well if you wanna farm those green titanite shots that's a good spot actually but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna kill those though. And the two rats again, simply for humanity purposes. Because I need quite a lot of humanity for something I wanna do later on. Large Titanite chart. I'm gonna kill the rats first.
one, two, three, four, five, six. And he dropped something. Green Titan Night Shard. Alright, after we killed the Gaping Dragon, uh, I bought the special armor for defeating the game on the first difficulty. Now, I bought the armor of the last boss in the game. Which, unfortunately, is not very good. <laughs> can show you guys real quick. Where is it? Yes, where is you? So, I'm by a giant rope. Golden Monsters Moonlight Rope of the Great Lord. That should also be down here somewhere. Praise of the Great Lord. Anklet of the Great Lord. So, now we would look like this. I think kind of silly <laughs> looking, but hey. But I think we're gonna switch to a. Actually, for down there, we are going to use another item, another set, which is this one. the Nazgul outfit, which I tried to use against the Big Drake. Because that is really good poison resist, and what we're also gonna do is gonna equip a special ring, the rusted iron ring, later on once we get down. Because then we won't be slowed by higher water and stuff. So let's be a Nazgul and go. Blight Town Key. Go to the left, don't jump down, it's a long fall and very deadly. Now to note, this is the front entrance to Blight Town. Remember during the suicide runs when we went into the Valley of Drakes? The back entrance is there. Smash that stuff, because there's a trick here. There first big enemy of this place, just go up. Now he's gonna try to wail there at stuff. And he falls. His souls are ours. You can do this a couple of times now. Just hit him. There. Because, as you can see, there's not much space here to actually fight these guys, and they have a really long reach. So, just do this again. Where is he? He's scared. There he is. Yeah. Just step up here again. Yes, yes, you're an angry, angry guy. And there he goes. This is a real cheap way to do, but yeah. Why make your life hard? And also, for the shield, like this shield, you won't be able to have this at this point when you go in here. But, remember you picked up the uh, spider shield. Where is it? There it is. Now if you look at it, 
it is a hundred uh, physical damage reduction, which is great, and it also has resistance to poison, which is really what you want to use here. This one has uh, it boosts various resistances. So when I go like this, you see the uh, bars. That's poison, toxin, bleeding, curses. So I'm really good equipped against that stuff. Now, see that down there? That's where we are going to head now. Jump over. Now he's gonna come back. These are not really problematic. You can backstab them real easy. No. Here one screaming. There's another two. Now there's one attack they do, which is really nasty. Let's see if he, yeah, that. When he jumps now, if that hits you, they will try to eat your face. And you don't want that to happen. So just make sure... Oh! See those white darts flying at me? That's a uh, poison dart, which applies toxin to me. If toxin uh, reaches uh, the full bar, you are gonna have a big problem, because that stuff is nasty. Oh, how are we gonna do that? Oh, he's actually hitting that, is he? Well, you're mine now. And they draw purple moss comp, which you can use to uh, take off poison if you get poisoned. And the white uh, moss clump are used when you get uh, toxin on you. Take them down. Yeah, there, there's the last big guy. We passed him pretty much. I'm gonna show you how to defeat those guys if you don't use a cheap tactic like I did. So, get behind them, backstab. They're kinda like the butchers. Just, when they hit you with their weapons, they will also apply poison. And you don't want poison or anything that will deal damage over time to you. So just stay relatively close and always circle them and just backstab them till they're dead. And as you've seen, when they get back up, you can't just uh, try to hit them then. It doesn't work. They're immune. So just wait till they're fully uh, risen and then just hit them with a backstab once you dodge their attack. I'm not wearing shoes. See that? I'm not wearing shoes. Didn't notice that earlier. Try jumping off. Which is quite right. Sneaky bastards. And he's gonna get flying. And takes his buddy with him. Alright. Now... We are going to jump over there, so make sure that you are wearing very light armor. Best thing is if, if you have the light roll, which is the real fast one. So you could take off all your equip if you're not sure when you have the fast roll. And then you just want to run with speed and then jump. You can hit this and jump over it as I just did, but you kind of want to try to hit this spot land here, which is possible. And don't worry, if you don't make the jump and die, your souls and everything will stay up there and you can just collect it again. And here you get a katana. Let's show that real quick. There we go. Which is this weapon. Which is pretty cool looking. And I also have one which is uh, fire plus 10. Mm, I can show you that with a few enemies now. How to get back down there. I'm trying to remember. I think there was a ladder here somewhere. Or not. I think I have to jump down actually. Yeah. There we go. 
And there's a ladder here. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Oh, come on, let me pass. Backstab. Make sure <laughs> you get a backstab when you're in close qu uh, quarters like this, then you're immune. And stab him. Like this weapon, it does also quite a lot of damage. Because it's fire plus 10. Alright, here. Walk slowly. Like, you will die if you do this with a with mouse and keyboard. What kind of troll did this? Imminent fall, yeah. What an ass. It would have been really embarrassing if I'd just fallen down there. God damn it. <laughs> but I didn't, fortunately. Alright, let's see where to next. Head over here. No, actually, let's head back up. I can imagine this section about Blighton is probably gonna get like four to five videos, so be prepared. Alright, here's the next bonfire. Let's rest at it. So we spawn here, should be die. Alright, let's see. Okay, we cleared everything over there. Now we have to stay in this area and go down. Alright, see these small red dogs? They're evil. And this weapon is shitty against them because they are fire <laughs> dogs. But it still works. Like, they're really fast, they're small, and they can actually very easily... Um, Brief a fire cone attack, which can be a trouble. See the white darts again? We have another poison dart shooter. Oh god. Take him out. How the hell did he survive that? go. Unfortunately these guys won't run out of ammo so they will just keep shooting till they hit you. Let's go over here. Smash that stuff. Jump down here. You can also use the ladders just to make sure if you're not if you don't trust your skills of jumping down stuff. Soul of a knight. Yeah, we're gonna have some company there. Let's heal up. Like the this weapon compared to my Atorius's greatsword is really fast. As you can see. Three quick strikes. No problem. But remember this is a katana fire katana plus 10, which is really strong. Why? Oh, there's another guy. There he falls. Don't worry about the loot. They will always give you that moss clump. Here he goes. Now over here, you get a shield. The eagle shield, which is a uh, a great shield, a bit heavier, but great uh, stability. 
and well if you like shields like that definitely a good choice but unless you have really high endurance and strength I think uh, you're gonna have a problem being uh, keeping yourself agile <coughs> what a cheater down he goes and we head down now over here you don't want to fight that thing like this there's an easier way grab that don't go down yet head over to the ladder climb up and there should be another of those dart guys yes there he is surprise And you can go over here and in here. And there's probably a guy over there. Yes, there he is. Let him come towards you. Let him hit you. Hit him off. Did he die? Yes. Then you go down here. And there is the evil, creepy monster thing. So you're just gonna hit it from behind. Don't worry, it does nothing. And dead it is. You could also do it with arrows, but you will need quite a lot of arrows. Here we get the pyromancy power within spell. Alright, but we're not done yet here. So let's head down here. Not sh Actually, that's not right. Not yet. We want... Actually, we want to go back. Forgot something. So head up. We go down here. Actually, we want to head back quite a way because we forgot quite a lot of stuff. And I want to show you guys where you can get some easy equipment and stuff without having to look for it yourself. So just run back. Like that item, for example, we want to get that. Now, this is the part of Blighton. It's really confusing. Like, if you go here without a walkthrough, ow! And you might have a real bad time and might miss quite a lot of stuff. But I'm probably not showing the best way to do this anyway. So if you are following this step by step, just make sure you trace my steps as I walk them, so you don't get uh, lost. Another soul. Oh, yeah, and careful here, as you've just seen, the ground gave away, and we would uh, think fallen to our death. Also, if you would jump down there from on top, like from here, it probably would also uh, break it. Just come on. Yes, come on. Come on. Down you go. All right, now we are back up, all the way up. This is where you did the jump. So now head behind this, and see that item there. Just jump down here, which is the shadow mask and shadow outfit, which is also really good against poison, which you're gonna probably equip here. It lets you walk fast. It's kind of like the earlier version of the set I'm currently using. Then there's a ladder here. Actually that's not right yet. Head back up the ladder. Forgot one item. Which you just go down here. And there we go. It's probably another soul. Yes. Then you just roll over here. Alright. 
Then we go here, smash these barricades, walk slowly, and another soul. Then you can go over here, and then, let's see, go here, roll over, no problem. And that should be all the items for this area. Now we can head further down. Hope I'm not lying. Looks clear. Yes, I think we got everything. And just go back. So hopefully we get to the bonfire before like 30 minutes. Don't want to make these videos too long if they don't have to be. Now here we have another of the big guys. Take out the small one first. Makes your life a lot easier. Keep your shield up. Dodge if you have to. Ow! There. Now we have room. And then he's no problem anymore. Come on, let me backstab you. Ow! There we go. Oh god, he's not dead. He's not dead. Now he's dead. And he gives us Dung Pie, which is totally useless. Like, you can apply the Toxin debuff to enemies, but you will also apply it to yourself, which there's no reason why you would want to do that. Now, here, something you can do. You jump down here, grab this item, which is a whip. Also not an item I would personally use much, but perhaps you want to. Then you just walk here and slowly fall down here. Walk out here. Now you're already a bit further down than you are supposed to be here if you went down got the whip. So what you can do is go back up. and walk through here, just to open this up. And this is where we jump down just now. So you're not really far uh, further down than you're supposed to be, but just so you know where this is. Alright, heading down now. This is the lower exit where you would come out, usually. Now these things, do s you can't backstab them, so just make sure you get behind them once they cast it. And I have not a good weapon for this. Like Those are fire creatures and my fire weapons are not gonna do much against them. So I'm switching back to my Atorius' Greatsword. Which should prove more lethal, as you can see. Alright, then head down here. Let go. And you don't want to go there, you can get stuck here. Head further down. Yeah, there's another dart guy. Where was he? I think over there. So let's see if we... Yes, there he is. So what you want to do... Don't get hit, <laughs> of course. Roll over here. Charge him. Keep your shield up till you're close to him. Let him shoot one more, then hit him. No problem. Get the items here, which is the Wander outfit, which is the th um, well, the Wanderer starting class, which is the high dex build. All right, we're almost down. We probably have some creatures down there. Yes. 
they're stunned, then just hit them while they're stuck. Walk over here. Now these bugs are really annoying and depending on your weapon they can be even worse. Like I can shoot them with my bow. So if you want something that can slice uh, vertically. Not horizontal, which is not very helpful. Heal up. Alright, let's clear this uh, port. Alright, now the whole ground in this area is uh, poisonous. Now poison is not as bad as toxin. Not at all. So let's just kill these things. I think they're stuck. There we go. Like with the arrows, you can kill them pretty easily, no problem. So now I said I want to switch a ring. Now I'm switching, switching this ring for the rusted iron ring. Because this will allow me to run uh, fast down here. Now you might be able to get this ring early if you return to the Undead Asylum, but I haven't shown you how to do this, so if you want this ring for this part, you would need to get it on your own or look for another guide that explains how to get it. We, Because we will be doing this probably after this area here. But again, poison is not bad, not one bit. I'm going to show you that it's really not evil. Bam, there they go. Alright, now here is the next bonfire. But I actually think we are going to get invaded now by another NPC. If I remember this correct. Should be coming any second now. Yes, Dark Spirit Maneater Mildred. There she is. Yes, she's female. She's only wearing really weird clothes. But if you kill her now, while in human form of course, then you can summon her for the next big boss fight. There we go. Pick up quite some humanity. Now, as I said, I'm going to show you that poison is not bad. So let's let this fill up. Kill the flies so they don't annoy us. So let's let and they respawn a couple of times when you kill them. All right, now we're poisoned. As you can see, my health bar is slowly dropping, really slowly. Which is no problem. You can cure this with uh, uh where are where oh god. Stupid bug. Alright. Uh with the purple moss clumps. You just select them, get out of the poison of course, then eat it, and now you're not poisoned anymore. Or you could just rest at this bonfire and be safe that way too. Alright, this is uh, how to get into Blight Town. We are at the bonfire. I'm going to stop the video here. So as usual, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.